go ahead and do this. Move myself over here so I'm closer to you guys. Well, maybe we'll put you guys over here. And yeah, let's take a look at this trailer. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I don't even know what it looks like. All I know is I know the release day. Yeah, I know the release day. It's, it's August 7th, and that is a lot goddamn more sooner than I thought. But let's take a look. Death is natural. Don't you agree? I take pride in my work. The cycle of life. The inevitable end, and the place beyond, some wish to corrupt that. That's the big boss guy, right? That's the guy we're going to be killing. Get some good armor and stuff, I'm assuming. Cycle. Brassia. The first necromancer has risen once more. He seizes the dead from their rightful slumber. His ultimate ambition, to build an army. That's me. Right there. That's gonna be me. Day one, dude. That's actually a strange drawing of the uh, new necromancy armor. It looks like it's almost like a... Like it's like one piece. It looks like this guy's wearing a bodysuit. <laughs> Army of spirits that will bring an end to all life on Gilinor. Come. Join me in the underworld. The city of Om. A place in limbo. Streets that were once crowded. I wonder who did the voice acting for this. It sounds so cool. Like, it, it's really well done. With the dead, thou stand empty. The necromancer is gaining power. He Damn. He the spirits in the well of souls. He will bring an end to everything. No life. No See, shit. so the entire time we did playtesting <clears throat> with necromancy and everything, this like building was up in the skybox. You can see this in the sky when you're in the city of Um. And I just, I can't help but feel like this area up here has some serious significance. I don't know why, I don't know what we're going to be doing up there, but I think we are going to be able to go up there. That's my just complete prediction. I don't know if it's true, but. Only oblivion. A great sacrifice. Is required. You must act. The time is now. Master the art of necromancy. Free the enthralled spirits. They yearn for release. True, Come, dude. Sir, release me. Creatures. And harness necrotic energy. Bring light to the darkness. Come that is so cool. And restore the city's life force. Graziao is a powerful teacher. Yo, she's looking kind of bad, though. I'm not even going to lie, dude. <laughs> she, she's looking kind of good, bro. Look at that drip. That's that. I bet you Kanye is going to be dropping this outfit in the next couple, uh, couple of weeks here. It's kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. Your opponent may be your greatest instructor yet. Now is your final test. I hate tests. Let's see what you have learned. <clears throat> August 7th. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Max your Iron Man before, before necromancy comes out, Wayda. It'll give you like a nice, you know, date. To set a goal, to be able to uh, achieve all of the things you want to achieve. Yeah, do that, Way Dot. That's a good idea. <sighs> August seventh, basically one month from now. A little bit longer, a little bit more than one month. Is it possible for me to achieve, you know, maxed in every other skill in that time frame? I'm gonna go ahead and say fucking no. Probably not. You know, probably not. Uh, I want to quickly go through uh, the actual news post that they put out for this, though. Um, because they did put out some interesting information in this news post, basically telling us that the levels that we're going to actually need uh, when Necromancy comes out. 
Um, so we've got, as you can see, smithing, crafting, um, rune crafting, and prayer and herb lore. Now, it looks like smithing and crafting are basically the same. You're going to need at least level 15 smithing or crafting uh, to be able to make most things. However, I think for the end game stuff, we're going to need tier 90, um, which is going to require 85 crafting and 85 smithing. I personally already have those, but if you're still, uh, you know, lagging a bit behind in those skills, I would probably try and knock those two out, especially uh, before necromancy comes out. Uh, the rune crafting was a little bit surprising to me because I didn't have any information on the rune crafting. I had no idea. Um, what levels we were going to need, and I assumed they were going to be a lot higher than what we're currently seeing. Uh, so essentially, you're going to be able to craft spirit runes at level 1. Like, no other requirements, just level 1. Uh, bone runes at 20, flesh at 40, and my asthma runes, my ass, my asthma runes at level 60. Um, so 60 rune crafting, and you can basically interact with all the rune crafting content uh, that's going to be released with Necromancy, which is actually impressive. I didn't think it was going to be... Uh, that low level. I thought we were going to be talking 90s for sure, but. Um, and then as for prayer, obviously, it's, it's very similar to other skills. Um, it looks like uh, base decromancy prayers require level 10, but their strongest variants available in the prayer book are going to be up to 46 prayer. And then to access the best prayers and curses in the skill, you'll need to be at 99. That's obviously for the tier 99, but there is a tier 90, uh, 95. And uh, it's, it's very similar as the other combat styles. And finally, 11 Herb Lore for Necromancy Potions, which is going to go up to 79 for Super Necromancy Potions and Extreme Necromancy Potions at 93 Herb Lore. And Overloads will require Necromancy Potions. So that's exactly what we're going to get to work on today. Uh, I need to seriously acquire a lot of Overloads. So that, that's my plan today. I need to, first of all, remember... The entire process that is making overloads and then uh, actually go about getting them. So 